name is Summer Alcazar, and I'm the chef owner of Self Top Solutions, which is a personal chef service here in Kennesaw, Georgia. I'm here today to demonstrate Bodum products. Um, what we're demonstrating here is the coffee press, and your coffee press is um, consists of different components. You have your uh, pot itself, and then you have um, the second part, that's the plunger, that you'll use um, for the coffee. And you also have a strainer part, which you'll always want to put up front so that it strains any of the um, coffee that might um, get filtered in. Um, so what you do is you take your um, coffee press, and what I usually do is I do a scoop of this. Um, it's about a quarter of an ounce um, for every cup. Now you might want your coffee stronger, that's definitely up to you. Um, what I do is I'm gonna just do about four of these. Go ahead and fill that in. And then what you wanna do is you wanna have some um, hot water on the, um, either boiling on your stove or uh, if you have one of these te tea kettles, that would be great. And what you do is you just pour this in over your coffee grounds. And what you want is your coffee to be um, kind of a coarser ground than you normally would do for a coffee pot. Now, the benefits of using one of these, um, the coffee has a much better flavor. I find that when you use a coffee pot, it kind of has a burnt flavor to it, um, so it's not quite as um, flavorful. So go ahead and fill this up. And um, what I normally do is I usually stir this just so I incorporate the coffee in with the water. Um, it's going to steep, so it's, you know, you can choose not to do this, but I find it incorporates the flavor a little, a little more. So what you do at this point is you would just um, put the lid on here, and you need to actually let this steep for about four to five minutes. And um, as we said with the tea earlier, what you can do is you can actually add cardamom, um, and with the coffee grinds, you can either grind it up or you can actually just take it and um, peel the outer shell of this. And um, this is a spice that's used widely in the Middle East and in Indian cooking. Um, it has a, a very unique smell and taste to it, but it gives your coffees and your teas an extra added flavor to it. Um, it's actually um, used in um, milk dishes. If you do desserts, you'll find this a lot in Middle Eastern and Greek cooking, actually. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to actually wait for this for another about two minutes. It's just about ready. And what you want to do at this point is you want to um, use this plunger part to slowly um, press this in. And you just want to go very slowly because you don't want to mix the grinds in with the water. Your patience will definitely be paid off with a really good cup of coffee. Okay, and again, you want to make sure that you have the filter part um, near the spout so that any of the coffee grounds that may have been floating um, are caught. So we'll go ahead and get started and get some coffee going. Now, obviously, this could have sat a little longer for it to be a stronger cup of coffee, but right. just for demonstration purposes, that was fine. 